Hey guys, it's Rabbit, and you really need to excuse me for being in my robe, but I just got out of the shower, and I figured that while I was getting ready, this would be a perfect time for me to go ahead and record a video. Actually, I'll, I'll be recording two videos, but this one, as you can see from the title, is going to be about how I make my own natural mineral powder slash mineral foundation. The reason this ended up starting for me was because I thought that mineral powders were really, really expensive, and you guys have already probably picked up from my, my videos and my channel that I kind of, I feel like people charge too much and they put too much emphasis on price tags and they think that the more expensive or the more costly something is, the more effective that it's going to be. And that is definitely not true. So I'm going to be sharing with you guys a little recipe that I've been using for probably two years now. And it's been really, really effective. It's, it's completely natural. There are no artificial flavors or artificial like preservatives and stuff in the products that I'll be using to put this together. And there are just so many benefits and pros and cons, and I'll kind of run through that here in just a second. So the two items that I actually mix together are cornstarch and natural cocoa powder. And when I say cocoa powder, I think people immediately are like, what, are you putting those little chocolate cocoa mix packets on your face? And no, I'm not mixing those and putting that on my face. I'm talking about 100% pure natural cocoa powder. And the one that I got is Nestle. And if you even look at the ingredients, like it's just cocoa. I don't know if it's gonna, gonna focus or not. But anyway, this is completely natural. There's nothing in it. Um, like I said, there are no artificial flavors in this. There are no artificial colors and there are no preservatives. And as a lot of you probably are already aware, um, natural cocoa is filled with antioxidants and it's very, very good for you, like, you know, if it doesn't have the sugar in it and stuff like that in there. So it's really, really good for your skin and good on your face and it just leaves you with this really nice matte look and you don't end up like oily or greasy. I'd say I get about five hours of a nice, flawless, shine-free powder look or face with this recipe. So I really hope that you guys enjoy this and that it works out for you. Definitely let me know. Um, as I said, I also use cornstarch and it doesn't matter what cornstarch you use. Um, it's just starch. So again, this is natural and it's not going to do you any harm. And mine is just in a little Ziploc bag because it's easier for me to store my cornstarch this way. But usually they come in boxes and you can literally get both of these ingredients for like under $5. Like I think our cornstarch was like a dollar from Walmart, and this might have cost like three, maybe. I think the Hershey's natural cocoa powder was a little bit more expensive, but you know, it doesn't matter. Just as long as you have these two ingredients, it, it really doesn't matter where you get them from or what their brand name is. The first thing that you're going to need is a way to actually store it, and I guess this kind of like transitions into sort of the pros and cons. Definitely, as I've already said, one of the pros of using this recipe is that it's 100% natural and it's actually good for your skin. It's also really cost effective because to get these two bulk amounts of product that you're mixing together, and I just knocked something over, go me. Since you're going to be finding these two giant products that you're mixing together at such a low price, you're going to be able to extend how much powder you have for a really long time. Like, I probably purchased these two things like maybe three or four months ago and I still have almost a full tub of this and like this is pretty much full as well. So it lasts forever. So think about how much money you're saving as well as it being actually good and natural on your skin. And then just one of the other pros to it is that it's really simple and easy to do. So if you run out of powder or something like that, usually someone will have these items in their kitchen so you don't have to worry about oh no I've got to go to the Mac counter tomorrow or I've got to you know go to the mall and get my makeup like you can just go into your pantry or you can just go to a Walmart or other grocery store and pick these up and mix mix it together and you're good to go. The cons to this well, first of all, you're going to need a container to store it in, and you know that could be an issue because you might want something really, really small. So if you already have like a mineral powder container, you can just go ahead and you know wash it out after you've used up all of the the product in that, and then you can store this in there. But what I've done is I actually took an old glass jar 
and I sterilize it and everything because you want to make sure your container is clean so that you're not putting dirt or bacteria or whatever other product was in this on your face. I mean, it's not a big con, but it's still one that's worth mentioning. Another con is that if you're a little bit too heavy handed on the product, because for my recipe I use cocoa powder with the cornstarch, but if you have paler skin or if you're like Caucasian or something like that, you can just use the cornstarch or maybe just a little bit of cocoa powder, just add a tiny bit of darkness and pigment to it. But if you're just using plain cornstarch and you get a little too heavy handed, it really washes you out and makes you look almost ghastly and, and you just look very spooky and creepy because it makes you look a little bit like a vampire which I guess if you are aspiring to be in a future Twilight movie then that's great but if you're just wanting to wear something to go out to eat or just to go to classes then that's probably not the look that you are going for. Those are really all of the cons like I can't think of anything else so as you can see like there's really nothing to lose just try it and if it doesn't work for you no big deal you can just go back to buying whatever mineral powder or mineral foundation you were using before but if it does work out for you which is what I'm hoping hence why I'm sharing it then you're going to be saving so much money and you're going to be putting something natural on your skin so you don't have to worry about all these chemicals and preservatives that are in some of the other products out there okay well, I've been doing too much of this so let me actually show you how I mix the stuff together so I've already got a little bit of product in here but I decided I was just going to go ahead and mix a little bit more you want to start out with the spoon it doesn't matter what size you use but I'm just using a very general teaspoon and what I do is for every two teaspoons of cornstarch I put one teaspoon of cocoa powder so let me open this up and I'll try to show you guys my stand is a little bit off center so so yeah I just I get like, and this is not a rounded teaspoon because cornstarch is so like all over the place, but whatever. You can definitely adjust the ratios to fit your skin tone, and if you feel like you put too much of one in there, just balance it out by adding a little bit of the other product, so it's not really a big deal. But this is the first little teaspoon of cornstarch that I'm dropping in my container. I don't know if you guys can see it. So it's just sitting right in there. I'm going to go ahead and grab a second one. And oh my goodness, I'm making a little bit of a mess here. Which I guess is another con that this can definitely be messy if you don't take it slowly. All right, so then I'm gonna take my cocoa powder and I'm just gonna take one rounded teaspoon of this. I'm gonna also drop it in my jar. Okay, so I'll show you what this looks like. So it's got a couple lumps and bumps in it and it's not completely even. You can see there's some white from the cornstarch. But what you're going to do is take, I'm using a chopstick, but you can use whatever you want, and then you're just going to mix it together. Just kind of like this. To smooth out any lumps or bumps and just get it really blended nicely. Do, 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 do. And this can definitely take a while depending on how lumpy your cocoa powder was. And for some reason mine had a lot of little bumps in there, but just Make sure you get it even because if you don't mix it together then you are going to run into some problems. One of the other pros to this is that it really does smell good too and if you don't use too much cocoa powder I think a lot of people would think that oh my gosh I'm gonna go around with my face smelling like chocolate all day but it's really not too pungent or too strong of an aroma and it doesn't stay on your face so it, it depends on how much cocoa powder you put in there but the way I do it, if you do kind of a two to one ratio with whatever size spoon or measuring utensil you're using, it's not going to be overpowering at all. I'm going to show you guys what it looks like, nice and mixed together. This is what it looks like. And this is what it is in the container. And what you'll do is you'll just take your powder brush or whatever you use and you'll just stick it in there and you'll just put it on your face. So obviously, again, this comes back to the type of container you use. This one might be a little bit hard if you use like one of those little powder puffs, but you can definitely like lean it on its side and like spread the powder on the side of your container and then like stick it in there. But I use a little powder brush and that's just easier because of the shape of this container. 
So that is it guys. Like it's really, really easy. It's really simple to do and it looks really nice on your skin. I actually am getting ready to record just my basic makeup routine. So if you're interested in seeing how this looks on me, you can just click to the next video. I'll put a link somewhere around here because I'm not sure which video is gonna get uploaded first. So if this gets uploaded first, I will put a link as soon as I get my makeup routine uploaded. But obviously if it's vice versa and this comes after the makeup, Makeup routine then I will have a link immediately when this is uploaded thank you so much for watching guys definitely leave me a comment below like if this worked for you if you like this and if you'd like to see more videos like this where I show you some of my tips and tricks to avoid paying too much for a product if this was helpful for you just yeah, definitely thumbs up this video and please subscribe so that you can stay up to date on future videos that I put out. Thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you in just a second for my makeup routine video.